Hello, this is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Radon is a cancer-causing radioactive gas. You cannot see it, smell it, or taste radon, but it may be a problem in your home. When you breathe air containing radon, you increase your risk of getting lung cancer. The Environmental Protection Agency, US EPA, and the Surgeon General's Office have urged widespread testing for radon. They estimate that as many as 20,000 lung cancer deaths are caused each year by radon. Next to smoking, radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the United States today. Radon is a gas and it easily drifts upward through the ground to the Earth's surface. The amount of radon gas that reaches the Earth's surface depends on the uranium content of the geographical area you live in. Uranium is all over the U.S. There are no sacred cows. Radon usually enters at the lowest level of the building using whatever pathway are available. For structures with basements or slab on grade foundations, the entry points include cracks, pores, and holes in floor slabs, walls, and floor wall joints, and openings around sub pumps, floor drains, and pipes penetrating floors and walls. Sub pumps are huge. Most air rises because it is lighter than dry air. Plus, the home stack effect sucks the pump pit, which usually is connected to underground, perforated, wet, nasty soil infiltrated pipe that communicates with the ground. The amount of radon entering a building depends not only on the existence of entry points, but also on the mechanical and other design characteristics of the home. Newer homes are more prone to radon because they are tighter and do not leak as much air as older homes. Most radon is drawn into buildings by the stack effect. This effect is the greatest during colder parts of the year when buildings are closed up. The stack effect is increased by the use of exhaust fans, air distribution blowers, clothes dryers, and more. During the warm months, when buildings are either open or well ventilated through air conditioning, the indoor radon levels are largely determined by geographics rather than mechanical factors. Testing for radon during both seasons is advised. Certain studies show that radon levels in the living areas of the house are about 1.6 times higher in the winter than in the summer. The annual average radon level in a basement is approximately 2.5 times higher than it is on the first floor. Slab and crawl space homes are also susceptible to the above conditions. It was also found that well weatherized tight houses have average radon levels about 1.4 times higher than poorly weatherized drafty houses. The reasons for these differences are easy to understand. There usually is more radon in basements because that is where the radon enters the house. Radon levels usually are higher during the cold months when the stack effect is greater and the indoor-outdoor exchange is very low, especially in newer or tight homes. In nearly all cases, indoor radon is derived only from the earth's materials that are below the home. Radon can also come from construction materials if uranium-enriched rocks is used for fireplaces, kitchen counter, field stone walls, and concrete aggregate, or even from private well water if it is drawn from a uraniferous aquifer. Radon testing is prudent, period. Okay, now you ask a question. I already have a radon system, should I test anyway? Yes, you should test because many early systems were not properly installed. Many times the radon system installed are not working and you may be purchasing a false sense. Your health and well-being may be jeopardized. Okay, the homeowner gave me a, a test that states no or low radon. Retesting is still recommended. You do not know the conditions of the home when these tests were done. Homeowners can open windows or pressurize the basement and have low radon results. You need your own radon test. Never use somebody else's test. If you are in a real estate transaction, you should employ a home inspector who is licensed to perform radon testing. For more information on radon, please go to my website at www.houseinvestigations.com. Thank you. This is Marco Volk, 
And remember, radon kills.